Hello everyone. On this video, I will show you how to use GitHub using Visual Studio 2022. So the steps we're going to do is we're going to create a, a, a brand new Visual Studio project. We're going to link your GitHub account. We're going to create a repository. We're going to make change to your project and push, push those changes to GitHub. And we're going to make a change on GitHub and get latest. So let's get started. First thing first, we're going to create a new project. You can just create any project you want. I'm just going to create a test project. Let's give it a second. Now that we have project, the first step we're going to do, go to tools, up on the toolbar, go to options. Up here, just search source control. And you're going to click plugin selection. And in plugin selection, I believe by default, it's going to be selected none. Go ahead and select get. Once you select get and click OK, this option up on top here will show up for you. This get option. So once you have this get option, go ahead and click on the drop down. Click on the menu. And create a get repository. OK, so this is the very the next step, right? Step number two, we're going to link to your GitHub account. So on this option here, I don't know what you're going to have selected by default, but go ahead and click on GitHub icon on the left side. On your account, just click and add account. You will be prompt to log in to your GitHub account on, a, on your browser. OK, let me show you what that's going to look like. You're going to have a option that looks like this. What to sign in, go ahead and put your credentials there and click sign in. And then once you get the success page, that means you're already you're signed in to your GitHub account in Visual Studio. Now from the drop down, go ahead and select it on the repository name. Let's create a test project repo. And now we're going to create and push. I'll give it a second. So as you can see at the bottom here, it's creating the repository for us. It's going to take a little bit to do it. Let's see. And there you go. As you guys can see here, now there's these locks, right? That means our code, this test project was pushed into Git. So I'm going to log to my Git account. And I'm going to show you the test project repo is right here. This is what it looks like. And these are all the folders in into that project. Next step is next step is going to be we're going to make a quick change to our code. Let's say I have this is the default ASP.NET Core template. Let's go ahead and click add another testing values. So there you go. Once you make a change, as you guys can see here, there's a check mark here. There's a red check mark that means pending edit. Now I'm going to go ahead and change. I'm going to go ahead and check that in, push that into GitHub. To do that, I right click my project. Go to the Git option and click Commit and Stash, and I put a comment, test comment, and I commit all the changes. So it's all done. Let's go ahead and pull up my Git account here again. Let's do a refresh. Okay, as you guys can see, it was updated a minute ago with two commits. So let's look for my for my uh, controller that I just changed. Make sure the store refresh here. Oh, there you go. So here it is. We got the latest changes. We got the latest changes. We 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 push our current change into GitHub. So let, let's say we want somebody else is working on the project on this project, and they have their project on their own computer. So let's see if we can make a change here, and see if we can get that change. New change, and let's say. So let's see changes. Commit changes. So I made a change here just so we, all right, so let's see what it looks like now. Here's what I do, right? I go back to my project, go to get changes, and I click, I go down here, right, where it says master and all that, and I click pull. So it's pulling changes for the current branch, all right? Let's see if the changes came down. And as you guys can see, the changes came down. So it's pretty straightforward. All I have to do is link, link your GitHub account, create a repository. You can make a change to push the changes to GitHub. And you can go into this drop down here to actual pull your changes from GitHub. So if you guys have any questions, just drop a comment below.
Thanks for watching.